Zamfara State Council of Chiefs held a retreat and extended an invitation to, to me and uh, I attended last Monday, eight days ago, uh, which they held in Kaduna. And uh, Mr. President, I want to report as a proud member of this assembly that uh, all I said on the floor was right. I stood by my comments and uh, what happened in both cases vindicated my position. Mr. President, in the welcome address by His Royal Highness the Emir of the Zamfara, uh, in that retreat, uh, with your permission, I just uh, give you three instances. Mr. President, in one of them, he said on the security challenges, he said, uh, however, unfortunate de uh, developments affecting security of our people on the security challenges that are unfolding almost on daily basis. Mr. President, in another place, he said the security ordeals Zamfara State is experiencing seems to be sidelined because we do not have strong voices. Alluding to the fact that uh, so many crimes and atrocities are happening in Zamfara State, but uh, some people are very comfortable with them, and that is why they don't bring them. Uh, most worrisome from the Amias aversion, Mr. President, is the last praise that touched my, uh, my mind and I called on them all to have fear of God. Mr. President, he said, in fact, about 5,000 women, about 5,000 women, including underage girls, were raped and molested. 5,000 women, Mr. President. This is the speech of the chairman of the Forest State Council of Chiefs. Mr. President, on our engagement with the party, our three things came out. Number one, Mr. President, during the interactive session, I was made to understand that uh, the chief security advisor to the government, that is SA on security matters, Mr. President, is a well-known fact in the Farah that uh, he is the principal accused person in the Farah today. He knows every criminal in the Farah that is operating. Sorry, who, did you, who are you talking about? The SA, security, space. Um, distinguished, uh, distinguished center. Do, no, can you, distinguished center, Marifa, with all due respect, I have tried as very much to always accommodate you on these issues. And I think that we must not abuse this issue of personal explanation to go. Everybody, I'm sure, here has issues to do with their state. You went for a, a reconciliation meeting, and I think you should summarize that, but now you are going to details where people have been accused. I, I don't want this platform to be a platform for these kind of things we degenerate. I have I've been very, very accommodating on this issue. So what I will appeal as an elder statesman, because a member of this red chamber, is to give us a summary of these issues and let us try and keep it, keep within those confines. I will really make that uh, uh, appeal to you. As a senator, yes, President Special, I will agree that you will listen, but try as much as possible to keep within that uh, uh, confines. Summary. The summary is two. One, the chief advisor of the governor is the, is the principal accused. Number two, sir, the governor disbanded all self-help organizations that people formed to protect themselves. Mr. President, from that day, Criminals roam about in my constituency with rifles, unhindered, and the governor disbanded every organization. Nobody can defend himself in the Farah. Mr. President, I was also told that uh, uh, during the, uh, uh, in 1999, at the inception of uh, uh, democracy in Nigeria, we had 70 military officers. Today we have more than 1,000 officers. And nothing is being done. This thing is going on every day. People being killed in love and everything. Mr. President, this Senate did to ask some questions. If these military men are not answerable to the governor or they are disobeying him, the governor needs to say it, that yes, the military are not under me and they are not taking my instructions so that this Senate or the federal government can take a, a position. It is just not enough to heap them on the doorstep of the federal government. When you don't allow members of the National Assembly to discuss anything, you don't allow anybody to take it, 
You don't allow media to take anything. Mr. President, my zone is under siege. And I will continue to say it on this floor of the Senate, sir. Unless I'm allowed to do it, I will resign from this place and work. I thank you very much, Mr. President. His chairman is the security other committees here. Mr. Jamarfa, it's a pity that considering how strongly you felt about this matter, I noticed your absence at the security conference uh, yesterday where your governor was there. It has been a good opportunity for us to listen to the speech that is made. So, uh, leader, please take note of these issues because I know you are inviting the security agencies and then we'll look into the matter. Thank you.